you want to make some money with your friends, take them out to the backyard and show them your rose bushes and say to that person, you know, I'll bet you five bucks or maybe something more valuable. I'll bet you a bottle of hand sanitizer that my roses don't have thorns. And that person's going to look at you and, and say, what do you mean? I'm staring at the thorns on the roses. Now, Debbie Flower is here. Debbie Flower, retired horticultural mm-hmm. teacher, uh, been gardening in many places across the United States. Who wins that bet? The guy who took his friend in the backyard and, and placed the bet is, is correct, that roses do not have thorns. Okay, then what are they? Right, what are they? Roses do have a... a, a a pointy uh, growth on them, and as do many other plants. And many people will call all of those pointy things thorns. But botanically, there are different uh, pointy things on the plant. The pointy things are for protection, as you might expect. They um, can protect their plant from us getting close to them. But they are different types of, of pointy things. And on a rose, it's called a prickle. Uh, A prickle occurs on the outside layer of cells of the green part or the non-woody part of a plant. So it can happen anywhere. It can be anywhere that's green, anywhere on the stem, anywhere on the the, um, uh, sepals, which are what what cover the flower when it's in bud, uh, on the leaves. Uh, of a plant, there are um, prickles can occur wherever there's a green part. The green part is covered with what's called epidermal cells, and ep- epidermal cells cover the entire outside of that green soft part of the plant. Uh, we humans have epidermal cells. That's our skin. So if you think about all the green parts of a plant being coated with a skin, that skin, every cell of that skin can make a prickle. So basically, so, then uh, a prickle yes. is a, a prickle is a, is a plant zit, right? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and they're easy to take off. Uh, okay, you just pop it, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the places I taught school also had, when I was head of the department, actually also had a floral design program, and that was actually a topic of conversation, how to get the prickles off of the roses that were used in the flower arrangements. And there are tools you can buy for it, but the easiest way is to take a towel, hold the stem with one hand, and, and put the towel around the stem and slide it down the, the stem, the rose stem with the other hand, and all the prickles come off. They're very easy Ooh. to remove. Now, as, as a child, I recall uh, picking off the bigger prickles uh, off the rose bushes uh, fairly easily with my bare hand, and then uh, licking the back of it, sticking on, sticking it on the end of my nose, and running around like a rhinoceros. <laughs> I love it. What a picture that brings to mind. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, so, so roses have prickles. Who has right. who has thorns, and what is a thorn? Well, there's one I want to talk about in between. They're alphabetical in my head. Okay. I have to make <laughs> mnemonics to remember things. Okay, yes. all right. So prickles first, and that's that's on the youngest tissue, the green tissue. Spines are second, and spines are modified leaves. So they occur where a leaf occurs. They have the same plumbing in them that a leaf has in them. And the thing that we, the plant we know with the, are most familiar with that has spines is cactus. Mm. And if you look closely at a cactus, all the spines are occurring around it in a circle and they uh, often overlap when, and that has a function when the cactus is in need of water is very dry. The stem to which these, these spines are attached, the stem shrinks and the spines get closer to each other and they shade the stem more. When there's lots of water available, the stem's, plumps up and these um, spines move apart and more sun can get to the stem and the stem in a cactus is where is the green part and that's where the um, food is made so it it, um, besides having a defense role for the plant it uh, actually helps to shade the plant when the plant needs shade does it so cactuses have spines the um, uh, edges of of sharp some leaves that are sharp like holly leaves those are spines. Mm. Um, barberry has spines. There, there are many plants that have spines. Do spines yep. also uh, aid in photosynthesis? Um, I don't believe so. That's a good question, and I don't have the definitive answer for it, but I'm thinking about all the spines I know of. Even when they're on the tip of a leaf, if you hold that leaf up to the sun, you can typically see light through it. 
So I, I don't believe they contain chlorophyll, which is the molecule needed to make uh, plant food, but I don't know that for sure. Okay, but seeing now a spine is a modified leaf, you'd think it might have a function of a leaf, and one of the big functions of a leaf is uh, converting sunlight into energy for the plant. Right, right. Typically, though, when this plant has lots of spines like a cactus, another part of the plant takes over the food-making ability. Mm. And in the case of a cactus, it's the stem that is doing that. Okay, so we've done prickles, we've done spines. All I know about whatever... Go go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I'll go ahead. up in the alphabet to thorn. Yeah, well, I was going to say, the clue would be it has to be below S in the the alphabet. Right. And it's thorns. So thorns, then, are what? Thorns are modified branches. Mm. Sometimes they actually have leaves on them, and then uh, they'll, the tip of that branch is sharp. Sometimes they don't, like on a citrus plant. The uh, thorns, the, the defense part, the pointy part, is a thorn, and it's often very green. So it can have the ability to do photosynthesis, or it can have leaves on it itself. It can be woody, can become woody, just like a branch can become woody, can have bark on it, but they are... Modified branches. Uh, so citrus have them, pyracantha have them, flowering quince uh, are armed with thorns as well. So three different types of structures all there to to keep us animals away from, from those plants, to harm us if we dare get near the plant. But have the, they have different names, and yes, roses have prickles. All right, so I will uh, sum this up then. Thorns are modified stems, spines are modified leaves, and prickles are plant zits. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. All right. <laughs> I want a three-page paper on plant zits. Yes. Do tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. The difference between thorns, spines, and prickles. Now you people can go in your yard and make some real money now. Gambling on go. gardening. All right. Debbie Flower, always a pleasure. Thanks for a few minutes of your time. Oh, yes. It always is a pleasure. Thank you, Fred.